yo guys how's it going welcome back to a brand new card mobile video hope you're all having a wonderful day this morning i woke up to the new season 4 update in call of duty mobile so in this video i'll be basically going through that and before i get into it guys i'm asking to just go ahead and hit a like on this video and share it with a friend i have not been posting consistently and when youtube sees that they don't normally recommend your video a lot so that would really help me out so let's get right into it shall we so firstly general adjustments were made to weapon classes i will get into that and then i'll I'll go directly to the weapons that were changed and the changes that were made to them so firstly for the smg they strengthened close range positioning from damage and mobility while optimizing the build trajectory to ensure availability at all distances so basically they wanted weapon classes to be used how they were made so for the smgs i guess they're kind of optimizing them so they are much better for close range in terms of you know the damage mobility and bullet spread for the assault rifle they strengthen the range and accuracy so assault rifles will dominate at 15 to 30 meters and this is just generalized and they also improve the weapon differentiation in terms of the bullet trajectory and handling and this is something that i have noticed with the ak117 but we'll get into that later on for LMG, the accuracy and damage efficiency has been adjusted to ensure the suppression of LMG at 30 meters away and strengthen the differential position of the weapon. So basically, they adjusted LMGs so they are superior at long range fights over 30 meters. And I'm definitely going to see how this works out because LMGs are not really being used right now. You know, the chopper, which was basically the most dominant LMG, is even hardly being used right now very importantly also snipers optimize the attribution of sniper attachments provide a combination of attachments and weakens the advantages of snipers in close combat snipers aren't going to be as effective as they were at close range so if you are a sniper player you're probably going to have to sit back and play rather than you know be a rusher one thing that is obviously the most noticeable thing is the terrible ADS time that snipers has right now it's just almost impossible to win fights at very close range of course unless you hit fire it's definitely going to be interesting to see so guys there were actually a lot of changes to weapon stats this season so firstly guys the msmc the range of the msmc was increased the ads speed also was increased on multiple attachments like the owc ranger the owc marksman card mobile actually decided to decrease the reload speed and the overall recoil of the msmc has also been reduced so i guess that means the vertical recoil and horizontal recoil now while we are talking about smgs the pdw was also given a few changes so the damage was increased for the pdw the pdw was also given a buff in terms of the hip fire accuracy mobility and ads bullet spread the hg40 was also given a damage buff so at 0 to 10 meters it now does 26 damage it did do 25 10 to 15 meters it does 24 damage which it did do 23 at 15 to 25 meters it now does 20 damage and previously it did do 17 and and anything over 25 meters it now does 17 damage the qxr was also given a slight buff at mid range so it is the same gun at close range which i would regard it as 0 to 8 meters and at long ranges which is over 20 meters however they did increase the damage for anything between 8 to 25 meters for the type 25 they did increase the effectiveness at close range and slightly decrease the damage it does at long distances the bullet spread accuracy was also decreased for the base type 25 and there were also some changes made to attachments for the type 25 for the light barrel short they increased the bullet spread and decreased the ads speed and for the stomping power reload they increased the bullet spread and decreased the negative effects of reload speed the hbr which is a gun that is not really used a lot right now is also getting a few changes so firstly they have improved the ads bullet speed and decreased the horizontal recoil of the hbr and on the other hand they have increased the ads bullet spread of the hbr so that it's going to be pretty interesting to see if that actually comes into play for the bk57 the ads speed was improved and they also optimized the horizontal recoil which will increase the bullet spread and a few attachments were also touched firstly when using the owc ranger they did decrease the movement speed they did also make some changes to the elite four group so they decreased the movement speed the kn44 was also given some changes so the reload speed was slightly increased they also decreased the damage it does above the waist of enemies and they also optimized the horizontal recoil which along with the bk57 will slightly increase the bullet spread 
The Manor has also been giving a few nerfs and a slight buff. They did increase the damage that the Manor does do at close range. They also did increase the ADS time for the Manor so now it's longer to aim down sights. There were also some damage changes for the RPD and the M4 LMG. I should have them on screen right now. And the Akimbo Deagle was also touched in this update. A lot of people were complaining about it a lot. So firstly, they did decrease the overall mobility of the 50SGS. They also increased the hip fire spread by 35%. And they also increased the firing rate from 36 seconds to 43 seconds. Adjustments were also made to a ton of score streaks on operator skills. So let me get into the operators first. The war machine actually did get a nerf and a slight buff. So they decrease the charging speed which is how long you have to wait for you to be able to use the operator they also slightly increase the damage that you can do to yourself so it's gonna be much easier for you to suicide the rate of fire has also been decreased and they also decrease the splash damage range of the war machine the gravity spikes also got a slight nerf so along with the war machine they did decrease the charging speed the damage reduce of the gravity spike has also been decreased which i'm very happy about because i've complained about gravity spikes in the past they did however increase the damage this obviously won't mean a lot because obviously the gravity spike is a one hit kill so i'm guessing that this will be effective against score streaks such as the goliath and stuff they also decrease the energy that the gravity spike recovers by killing an enemy with the gravity spike which is one of those things that makes the gravity spikes pretty op the Tempest has also been updated. They did increase the charging speed and now you can get a closer view when you aim down sights. They did also increase the number of bullets that the purifier has. The Death Machine did get a buff so firstly they did increase the sprint to fire delay. They also decreased the number of bullets required to reach the maximum rate of fire and they also decreased the damage done when wall banging. Additionally the Spar did get a nerf where they increased the duration and decreased the accumulation time. The Hive also got some changes. So increase the blood volume of the trap, increase damage frequency and decrease single damage. For the equalizers, they slightly increase the damage it does at mid and close range. For the bull charge, they decrease the charging speed. Now onto the score streaks, firstly the MQ25 Dragonfire which is the least used score streak right now. They actually reduce the score you need to get this which is now 650. I'm not even sure how much it was before because I have never used this because the only time I actually used this was when the first time it was released and from that I've never used it again. They also reduced the score needed to get the advanced UAV. The Napalm has also seen some changes. They did increase the burn damage and they also delayed the lock time of the FJ-18 so it's hard to get destroyed. And they also shortened the time it takes to explode after the flash bomb is thrown. The cold blooded perk also received some changes which is just huge so firstly it now removes the effect of not being able to be marked on the enemy's veto. I didn't even know that was a thing because I don't use cold blooded but I guess I learned too late. Another thing which is huge for this it does not trigger the enemy's high alert perk. With the buff that the high alert perk did get this season I think that more people should be using the high alert perk so this should be a pretty good counter for it. 